Hello. Uh, greetings from the Latvian Medical Association, from your neighboring colleagues, and thank you for inviting us uh, to be here today in this uh, very important event. Um, our organization um, consists of 2,500 individual members and 116 um, associations. Uh, we are um, not a big NGO in Latvia, but quite powerful and um, trying to um, uh, really have good cooperation with our partners, Association of Nurses, Midwives, and also medical schools, the uh, Registradnich University and the University of Latvia. We are trying to be active also at the international level. Uh, we are um, having good relationships with our neighboring countries and World Medical Association. And um, what are our main activities? At the national level, our organization uh, represent uh, the interests of physicians at the different political uh, discussions regarding health and uh, healthcare policy and reforms. Uh, we do participate in the development of policies and strategies related to health promotion and healthcare. And what we do, we really provide uh, and support continuing medical organization. We do organize 24 conferences in one year for our medical doctors and also uh, other specialties working in healthcare. And uh, usually those are multidisciplinary conferences we, where, where we learn, where we discuss, and where we uh, are trying to have a joint opinion uh, about what are our targets in medicine. Uh, if we talk about um, uh, dissemination of information uh, of the la latest scientific data on medicine and healthcare for physicians and healthcare professionals, we have a journal, Latvia SARS, I have with me, and it is published uh, 12 times a year. And also we work on public health and social determinants. But uh, recently, like three years ago, we initiated a new project that is targeted on patients because it's absolutely clear if our patients do not uh, have the latest scientific information and data on medicine and healthcare, then we cannot have a really good cooperation with our patients, and it's very important. Because unfortunately, patients do not comply with our advices, and it's very important to understand and to see our work as partnership. And for this reason, we are uh, publishing the journal R survey. I will show you. This is a journal for uh, patients. We publish, and this is a journal for uh, medical doctors or all healthcare professionals. And we have this uh, website, our cell way, where uh, our patients can go and search for information. Uh, main activities at the international level is World Medical Association, CPMA, OMS, and European Organization. But um, what are challenges? What are our challenges in, in, uh, at the national level? We would like to have broader involvement of all physicians in the activities of our organization, and especially young physicians, medical undergraduate stu students and postgraduate students, because they are the future of our medicine and healthcare in Latvia. And uh, we would like also um, uh, have more impact when we are uh, representing and supporting interests of physicians in negotiations with our National Health Service and the Ministry of Health. If we talk about international organizations, uh, we would like to participate in all activities of medical organizations in the world, but actually it's very expensive and we have to choose where we do participate. And uh, we would like to raise at the international re level discussions that are of interest for, all pub for public health and healthcare professionals at the political level. Because now we are talking about money, but we do not recognize that the health is the real treasure we have in our life. And uh, what are the main activities we have uh, performed during last uh, uh, two years? This is one of our goals is environment and health. Why? Because such a simple thing, uh, thing like plastic is very dangerous for human health. We know that uh, uh, um, bisphenol A and phthalates are very serious cancer against. 
and uh, they are endocrine disruptors. And if we will not curb the uh, use of plastic, we will face more and more uh, serious uh, cases of diseases. And uh, glyphosate is another problem. And uh, our president, Dr. Peter, uh, Peter Sapinis, is leading this work in Europe. And um, also, we start a discussion on blood transfusion uh, and necessity to do blood transfusion uh, so often as we are used to do. And the question, is it really necessary and how safe it is for the future of patients? And uh, recently, we are discussing the medical error, how we see medical error. And do we punish our colleagues or we cooperate and we find what to do? Uh, we evaluate and we understand why the medical error has happened. Therefore, uh, five days ago, we had a big conference in Riga uh, about this problem, and we are trying to change the law in Latvia regarding the punishments of, uh, of uh, medical professionals, professionals in case of medical error. And, of course, uh, the big problem we face today is polypragmazine. Uh, it's too many pharmaceuticals for one patient, and influence of promotional activities and uh, advertisement of pharmaceutical companies, and how it influences decisions uh, made by physicians. But uh, what we would like to say is that without cooperation, nothing can, uh, has happened. There, Seneca said that manus manum lavat, uh, the hand washes the other hand. And therefore, we would like to uh, invite you or your representatives to our 8th Congress of Latvian Physicians, which is international event. We have uh, every four years, and it will take place in Riga in September. And uh, next uh, spring, next April, we have a council meeting of the World Medical Association in Riga. And therefore, uh, we know that Estonia is an associate member, is an observer in this organization, but that could be a possibility to see how this organization works. And therefore, we would really be happy if you could participate in this meeting. And thank you for attention, but I would like to give the floor uh, to my colleague, Dr. Peter Sapinis, who is the president of our association.